Hey, how is everybody? Lou from RV Habit. Today I'm going to be switching out an ignition board on my Atwood, uh, which is now, I guess, a Dometic water heater. I'm having some intermittent problems with it. If you happen to find this video because your water heater is not working, I'm going to leave a link to a video I did up here. It's a great video that explains how this water heater works and what you can do to maintain it and troubleshoot it. But today I know it's an uh, ignition board problem, so I'm going to replace it. And I'm actually going to replace it with an aftermarket board made by Dinosaur Electronics and this is a UIB64 and I have no affiliation to this company except that I've used their boards for years it's a made in America product it comes with a three-year warranty and it really is a fantastic replacement for any of these ignition boards on this the your refrigerator your heater everything so uh, let's bring you in I'll show you the board that's giving me a problem and uh, let's replace it so this is the inside of the Atwood water heater. And you have three connections. This is the sparker and igniter, and you have a four pin plug and a six pin plug. So the first thing we're gonna do is you just pull the rubber boot off the ignition board, and it's just a little spade bit, just like that. And then you have a four pin plug and a six pin plug and they just pull straight out and get them out of the way. It's held on by two small screws. We'll get them out of the way. And this board will come right off. So this board that came with this unit, this was a known problem, this board. And if you ordered a replacement, an OEM replacement from Dometic, uh, you'll notice the board doesn't even look like this anymore. It's much wider. It's got a bunch of uh, more capacitors on it and stuff like that. But this is, if you can look at it, Zong Ding something CCP. And that's the board. It's part 91346. You'll find some different part numbers for this. That's the actual part number, 91346. And the UIB64 that I got from Dinosaur Electrics will replace this. And uh, so if you are having problems with your water heater and you have this particular uh, ignition board, it's a good chance this is giving you problems. All right, I'll show you how easy it is to replace. So inside the box, when you open up your new dinosaur electronics board, you'll get a warranty card and that'll have a serial number on it. And again, that's a three year limited warranty on this. You'll have a set of directions. Now you don't need any directions for this for this particular water heater. It comes pre-configured from the factory for a six and four pin connection to your water heater or if you have a straight 10 pin connection to your water heater. But this board actually can be reconfigured by removing a jumper to some older models. So if you have a problem, the directions are there. But the standard, uh, this, this standard one, which is a GC, uh, what is it? a GC6AA-10E. It's a standard Atwood six gallon water heater, gas and electric. This all comes pre-configured. And you get a cover for it, a couple mounting screws, and here's the ignition board. And it comes with a mounting plate. So the mounting plate we'll put on first, then we'll put the ignition board on and do this up. Again, you don't have to touch anything. It's all configured from Dinosaur Electronics for this water heater. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the mounting plate on. So I've seen in some other videos, these circuit boards, it's laying in the, the box like this and people look and they go, oh, the holes don't match up. This turns around. So the circuit board comes off. You turn this around like this and those mount, those original holes will line up. And all you have to do is mount this plate. All right, so to install this, we're going to, it's easier to do this with the board off. So I'm gonna put the 10 pin connector on, snap that in, the four pin connector and snap that in. Okay, now, let me just put that there for a second while I get the lid. So this is the cover that's gonna go on. 
and you'll notice it's got no, no backing here, so it'll slip right over those wires. But you notice this is a hole, and your igniter has to go through that hole. And the easiest way to do this is get the board on like that. Now I can get that cover on. There we go. Now you'll notice once that cover's on, then you can reach in there and put this spade on. So the first thing I'm gonna do after I get those wires situated is it comes with these little nuts. Again, this is all part of the kit when you buy it. And we'll get these nuts on. And this might be the hardest part of the job, starting these little nuts. And that's it. Now, the last part is my igniter. Again, that spade is right here. It sticks out now. And we can just push that spade bit right on there. Yeah, you can just throw the boot up there. And that's it, it's done. Now, this board also has some uh, diagnostic lights, a green, a red. I think green means it's, it's got power to it. Red means the gas valve's open and gas should be working. And if it's a yellow light, it uh, means the AC part of the water heater's working. So let's go turn it on and see if it works. Oh, and she fired straight up, perfect. So again, it's a Dinosaur Electronics board. It's a replacement for the OEM ignition board. They've been around for years. I've been using them for years. Made in America, three year warranty. Again, no affiliation. I bought this one on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. I'll also leave a link to the OEM version if uh, you're interested in that. But if you wanna know more about this water heater, how to maintain it and how to troubleshoot it, check out my other video. I'll leave a link up above. Uh, and it really goes into depth how to clean this, and maintain it, and keep it in good working order. But pretty simple project. It, you can probably do this yourself. It's just a couple screws. Uh, if you're uncomfortable, of course, get an RV tech to do it. But if you're comfortable with this kind of stuff, it's a very easy replacement. Uh, but as always, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you out there. Cover goes on. All right, let's take two on that.